Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the hill, Blake Snell. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher Leading to keep hitters guessing, Colorado. especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Charlie Blackman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. First pitch, 7 o'clock. In the air, left field, and makes the grab. And there's one away. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. Their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone at times. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass, push across some easy runs, and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. This to third, backhand reach, but it gets by him. And he's got a double. That is third. The first base one down. And here is CJ Crone. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. That's nope. down and in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The pitch. And that misses upstairs now 3 and 0. Oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2 0 -oh counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be. And we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And that's ball four. And he reluctantly takes his walk. So one out with two aboard. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brendan Rogers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now time is called as there's a visit to the mound. Just talking things over. Nobody getting loose out in the pen. So a little consultation. And a pitch. So two balls and no strikes. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. There to beat him by an eyelash. That is good. Randall Gritchick now. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Grisham makes the catch, and that'll do it. Two left for Colorado, and now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first, and towing the slab in this one, Chad Cool. What do you have on him? Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. Bottom of the first. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Jerickson Pro for the, Padre, the left fielder, Jerickson. And here it comes. And there's the strike. And 
And that one is in for a strike. The 0-2. And that misses off the outside edge. And the righty deals. And there's a ball. And down on strikes. One away. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. No, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now it's Juan Soto. Smoked on the ground a second. Oh, he gloves it to first. And that's a great play for the out. Batting third, the third baseman, Manny Machado. Here's Machado. Swings through that one, 0 oh and 1. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball there. Oh, and two now. Ball one there. And that's downstairs and outside. And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for the Friars. We played an inning. No score. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's Elias Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The wind of the pitch. On a line out towards center. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Batting seven. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Jonathan Daza. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Daza checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And Jerry Hillsdale says he went around. And that one is lifted in the air. Profar makes the play, and there's two down. Well, oh, just an excellent job to track that one down. That was a tough play, and he tried to stay on his feet, not wanting to dive and maybe have it go by him, but the lunge at the end kind of sent him barrel rolling. Great effort, though, and a nice job to hang on to the ball throughout the catch. Bounce to the left side. Machado throws the first in time. Third out. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in San Diego, and now the first baseman, Josh Bell. Leading up for the Padres, the first baseman, Josh Bell. And the right hater back to work. Ground ball, left side. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard.
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Not, Not much good. to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a Whoa, team at bat right work. there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And the first offering is not close. Bell aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Left-hand batter waits. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. That one the other way. And foul ball. And a pitch. That one off the mark. And that's ball three. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground. Could be two. To second for one. And it's a double play. Batting six, the designated hitter. Brandon Drury to the plate. Drury. That hits the dirt, ball one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. No score here in the second. Next pitch is outside. Two outs. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Here's the third baseman, Elauri's Montero. First offering, misses the mark. The lefty, the 1-0. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He'll touch them all. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Here's Chuck Nasty. Now batting. Designated so he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff what? home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. You'll want. He swings and fouls one off. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. On the ground, right side. Bell picks it up. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. The Jose Iglesias digging in for the Jose. Rockies. First pitch, and he just misses. That one down the line, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wasting no time. He's 
the two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next offering upstairs. And the pitch. In for a strike. And it's two and one. Iglesias, the base runner at first with one out. That one not close. And the count is three and one. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Let's see if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying the closed. If he does that, Second he's going to be able to go up the middle right the in. other way with some authority right. instead of a fly out to left. Rogers batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The next pitch misses at one and one. And he deals. This to third. In plenty of time to first, and the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, now here is Jorge Alfaro. Way to go for the Padre. The cool back to Jorge. work. Alfaro. That's in there. The 0 1. And that's in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swing and he breaks his back. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the back. Ouch, that one got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. That Next for the Padres, ha Sung Kim. Ha Young Kim. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Next offering is down low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The next offering misses. 3 and 0. Oh. Kicks and fires. And he walked him. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now batting jerks and profile. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, that's ball two. Righty to the plate. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. One out. Runners at first and second. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now the youngster wants Soto. Rounded out his first time on. First offering and it just misses. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. 
Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Here's Manny Machado now. Good contact guy, good defender. Now batting. Third base. And he swings and misses, Manny. and it's nothing in one. Machado. Kim, the runner at third. Soto on at first with two down. Up the middle, Iglesias collects it. They get the force, and that is the inning. Three innings complete, all tied 1-1. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Randall Gritchick. The right fielder, number 15. And the first pitch Randall misses for ball one. Gritchick. Next pitch misses. Now 2 0. Oh. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. And now the lefty, a little bit low. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count, be ready to turn on a fastball. Now Gritchick swing at a high fly ball, deep left field. That's back there. Gone! Randall Gritchick goes deep, and that gives him a lead. It's 2 1. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Next to hit for the Rockies, Elias Diaz. He's over one. Catcher. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And the next pitch is way outside. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Next one is off the play. And it's 3-0. The why to kick the pitch. And now 3-1. Now this is in the air down the line. Profar on the move to his right, and it gets by him. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. And the batter now, Yonathan Daza. Line drive, base hit. Diaz headed for the plate. The tag, and he's in there. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Got him. One away. And Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Got him looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Man, just backdoored him with the breaking ball right there. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it looks like it's a mile away, so you give up on it, and then it just hooks around that outside corner. Tell you what, if a pitcher can make a pitch like that, you pretty much just have to tip your cap as you walk back to the dugout. Charlie Blackman stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Snell picked to first. And he dives back in safely. Daza, the runner at first with two runner, gone. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. Go to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And welcome back. Josh Bell at the plate now. Leading off for the Padres, the first baseman. The right-hander back to work. Bell. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The wind to kick the 2 0. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. 0 for 1 so far. First offering, misses the mark. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. That misses, and it's 2 and 1. Right hander kicks, deals. And strike two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And here it comes. To the right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And the 1-0. Good eye right there. And that's in for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. That one in for a strike, two and two. No outs, runners at first and second. Laser could be extra bases. Bell rounds third, headed for the plate. And that'll kick off the base of the wall. Runner around third into score. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 3-3. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Here's the speedy catcher, Jorge Alfaro. 0 for 1, he grounded now out in his first catcher, at bat. Jorge. In there for strike one. No outs. Runner on second. Next nope. offering misses. And a count even one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one just misses. Now two and two. Man at second. And that one in the air center field. Brings it in. And there's one down. Trent Grisham, the next up, up for the Padres. The center field. Grisham. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. That's the third. Tags the runner. And he'll be safe at first. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. 
Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Strike in there. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. We're tied. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Steven Wilson. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Next one is off the plate, and it's one and one. And the right-hander deals. Slap the other way, foul. Next pitch downstairs, and the count's even at two. And the righty deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Here comes the pitch. And it's filled up. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. And it's fouled away. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And the pitch. And that's ball four. So up next, Jose Iglesias. Okay. On the ground, the third might be two. Quickly to second for one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a big power threat. C.J. Crone. That one hit to right. Soto makes the catch, and that'll do it. Halfway home, tied at three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Hassan Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. A wind and a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. There's a strike. Hoog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The left field. Your Throw ball. Pro far. At the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. The pitch. Next offering is outside. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. And he deals. Out to short. Iglesias collects. Throw off line. He's safe. 
And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. You can tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Juan Soto down. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, Juan Soto had a huge 2021 season, just one point shy of 1,000 for OPS. Absolutely a monster at the plate. This guy's pretty special. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The next offering misses. It's two and two. I think the thing you start with for Soto is that patience and that strike zone understanding. A lifetime on base percentage well over 400. In the second half of 2021, he had an OBP over 500. The third baseman, number Here's Manny Machado. Manny Machado. Bullpen activity starting up now. Austin Gomber getting loose out there. And the pitch. Two balls, no strikes to count. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. 2-0. And that one almost got him. Runners at first and second with one gone. And that'll load the bases. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Austin Gomber gets hit of the rock out of the pen. And he's being asked to clean up a mess with the bases loaded. And fouled off. Now the one has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. These boys are ready to make a play with the bases loaded. Excellent job of execution there. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Luis Garcia. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. The pitch. Rogers leading things off and takes a strike. The 1 That one back up the middle and it gets through. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Chases that one out of the zone. One down. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes, and it's very difficult to lay off. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Gets the bunt down the right side. Bell flips it behind his back. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Here's the center fielder, Yonathan Daza, one for two. And that's in there for strike one. Man on second, two down. And that one sliced foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Out number three. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results.
Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Way to go for the Padres. The second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Lucas Gilbert getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Stevenson, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Next one misses, and now 3-0. and It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Oh, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. The designated hitter, Brandon Murray. Slapped foul. Cronenworth on at first. Nobody out. Next pitch misses. A ball, one strike. Just missed. The 2 1. And another ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And now the lefty, late swing, fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And here it comes. Cronenworth runs. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Alfaro swings through it for strike one. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. Next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. So now one and two. And a pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. And the Padres waste a chance. Two on, one out. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, and he just misses. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the second out. So first and second with two outs. At the play, ha Sung Kim. ha Young Kim. Swings through that one, 0-1. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Next offering way off the play. In the dirt, blocked. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second.
Next offering is foul back. Next pitch misses way outside. In the air, right side. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. On the ground to third, down the line, and it's foul. Two-two now stays alive and that one fouled off two outs Here's a high fly ball out to center. Does it. Has a beat on it. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. Padres leave a pair. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. New inning getting started. So in now for Colorado, Connor Joe. First off, bring it just misses. Kicks and fires. That one missed. Righty to the plate. Line drive, and that's a base hit. A leadoff single, and the go-ahead run is aboard. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Montero in the box now, takes strike one. The 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Kim, fired to second. Relay to first, double play. So the batting order turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman for the fourth time tonight on the ground. Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Field two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Back here in San Diego, we have the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Gomber, back to work. And he pumps it a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but look the bat on his shoulder. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hands, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. This ball's chopped to the ground, and he picks it up in foul territory. The one two. Way high. Pitch. 
And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Here's Juan Soto. Back up the middle and a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. One down, runner at first. Manny Machado up to the plate. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Kicks and deals. There's the strike. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Here comes the pitch. And that one a little bit high. Fouls one off. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two away. Here's Josh Bell. Now has the first baseman, Josh Bell. On the ground to short. Over to Rogers. And the inning is over. We look ahead to inning number eight. All tied up. Back here at the ballpark, here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Iglesias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ripped on a line. Grisham right there to make the grab. And there's one down. C.J. Crone digging in for the Rockies. That one's in there, 0-1. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. To the right side. Gets it to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. The batter number seven. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1-0. On the ground, right side. Throws the first. That ends the frame. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. All tied up at three apiece. Robert Stevenson takes over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Robert Stevenson. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. On the inside corner for a strike. Right-handed reliever. And that's a check swing and a ball in the dirt. And a count one and two. Next offering is foul back. And now it's even up. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. The next offering misses. 3 and 2 now. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Joe glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Brandon Drury, the next up for the Padres. Brandon Drury. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Lucas Gilbert 
getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Stays alive. The pitch. Now a pop-up on the infield. Crone makes the catch. And there are two down. Up next to the hard way. Jorge Alfaro the at the plate. Jorge Alfaro. That one misses in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, no strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Swing and a miss, strike one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. So now three and two. The punch out there. And good work there as he gets a one. So the Padres with a new arm on the mound. Nabil Prismet. Digging in. Randall Gritchick. He's already homered here in this one. Left field. Profar moving under this one. Drops into the glove, and there's one away. The Next for Colorado, Elias Diaz. First offering, misses the ball. And the 1-0. Foul ball. But why to kick the pin? Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And yeah, the one two misses to even the count. That's a really good take. Two two now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next pitch is in the dirt. And now it's three and two. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Next to hit for the Rockies, Yonathan Daza. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. Now one and one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the catch. And that's the third out. Eight, nine, one, two up in the bottom of it. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Lucas Gilbert. So digging in, Trent Grisham. And the pitch. Yeah, that's outside. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The next pitch misses. Two and oh. And now the lefty. And a good eye there. 
So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this attack turns out. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. And 